Hello, so in this tutorial, I'm going to demonstrate how to use the hands-free gesture mapper. In this tutorial, we're only going to focus on static poses, like that and that, and not on multi-frame gestures. So we're not going to be able to detect waves or clapping or things like that, just static single-frame gesture poses. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to go to the hands-free gesture mapper page, and you're going to enable hand tracking. Once hand tracking is working, you're going to go to step two, to actually record the gesture. So what you want to do is get your left hand ready in the pose that you want to record. Now this only works with the left hand right now um, because I just built it. Um, in future versions, you'll be able to use your right hand, uh, but for now, just focus on the left hand. So we're going to record this gesture. You're going to get it ready, and then you're going to hit record landmarks. You're going to notice that, and then you're going to get 30 frames that were recorded and you want to go through and click all the ones that don't look like they belong this will improve the confidence okay so and you also want to make sure to move your hand a little bit to capture variations um, because this is a different pose than that and you want to be able to capture the different variations and once there is recorded you can see the confidence and right now it's zero because I'm not holding a hand still zero and now you can see that it's recorded okay so the next thing is we're going to go to step number three and you're going to give your gesture a name this is important so we're going to call it horns and we're going to select the fingers that are emphasized now this isn't really required but it helps the algorithm a bit so right now the prominent fingers are my index finger and my pinky so i'm going to check those off and that'll improve the algorithm a bit. And then for step four, all you're gonna do is we're gonna copy paste the gesture description. So I already have hands-free JS loaded onto the page. So I'm gonna copy it into the console, but you would just copy it into your app, okay? And then we can verify that the gesture is there by going into hands-free.gesture. You're gonna see that we got the horns here. Okay, now how do we use the gesture? So we're gonna go to step five and that'll explain everything, but I'm gonna demonstrate it. So you can detect what gesture is currently active by typing in hands-free model hands get gesture. And it's gonna return an array with four indexes because actually it can detect up to two people. So four hands total and index zero, but we're only gonna focus on the two, first two indexes. And the first one is the left hand, and index one is the right hand. So as you can see, when I don't have any hands, it's gonna be null. If I have one hand, it's gonna have an object, but you're gonna see that the name is empty and the confidence is empty, because this isn't the gesture that we recorded. So now when I do this, you're gonna have the gesture name. So now we have horns. And so that's how you can use it. So one way you can use it is um, if hands free dot model dot hands dot get gesture and then index zero and then if the name equals horns. So if the active gesture is horns, then we're gonna console log success. But if it's not the gesture that we're looking for, then we're going to console log fail. Okay, so let's try it. So we should get fail because I'm not holding a hand. And now we should get success. And there we go. So that's how you can check if the gesture is active and use, and make use of that gesture. Now, if you're in a plug inside of a plugin, we're going to create a small plugin. So we're going to call it logger and this is going to log the gesture on every frame and I'm going to demonstrate another way to access the gestures. So within plugins as a convenience if no hands hold on if no hands then we're going to return. As a convenience the gestures are also present in the hands.gesture property. So we're going to go console.log 
hands.gesture, the left hand, and we're going to output the name, if, it, if there is one, on every single frame. Okay, so let's run it. So right now it's undefined because we don't have anything. And now we should get horns. Nothing, horns. Nothing, horns. Okay, and that's how you use the gestures. Now I'm gonna show, demonstrate how to use the different hands. So you can also detect, oops. Oh, hold on, this is a little tricky. Um, so we're also gonna, the, we're gonna console log the left hand and the right hand. I'm gonna show you something real quick. Okay, so it, you'll see that the left gesture will display horns, but it's gonna be undefined here. Now, if I try to do it with my left hand, you're gonna see that it's still undefined. The reason is because, oh, hold on, there we go. Okay, never mind, it's working now. Okay, so that's how you use gestures. Um, I'm going to write better tutorials soon, but ev everything covered is on this page. Uh, good luck and let me know in Discord if you need any help. Thanks for watching.